Hi guys, welcome back to Lots of Ash. Uh, what we're doing today, uh, we are going to cut some tapered threads. It's a one inch uh, BSP, like a, a gas thread, a British Standard. Uh, and we'll be using the uh, tapered attachment uh, to cut the thread. Now, there's a slight twist to this, and uh, <laughs> please leave a comment because I don't think I've seen anybody else do it before. Uh, uh, and I haven't done it either before, but uh, it did work. So, um, so what we're doing is, uh, well, we made we made these. So that's an original fitting. So you see, it's uh, tapered. Now, if you sort of can see what is going on, this is tapered, but then it goes into. A parallel thread in one go so how can you do that now I'll explain you why I'm doing why I'm doing this because uh, uh, I am building this really large wood fire you know, stove with a heat exchanger so that I can uh, connect it to my uh, radiator system you know from the house and that's why I need to weld these into the heat exchanger tank. And where they come through the outside wall of the fire, I need to put two gland nuts on it just to, to seal the hole. So this thread is not super important, uh, but this part is. And we'll be making these gland nuts uh, just have these uh, 12 mil thick, you know, just under half inch. Uh, these little square things. Uh, so what I'll be doing is a tank, because uh, the forge or my lathe is, is quite big. So I'll weld these together. I'll just tuck them in the four corners and then I can thread all three of them in one go. And then afterwards, We'll use probably this one. Uh, we'll screw it on. Sorry, not with that piece. Uh, and then we we'll just stick it on the lathe, and then we we'll just round the corners off, so it becomes like a square nut with half rounded corners. That's good enough. So that is uh, the job for today. Uh, we had some fun with this. Uh, you'll see it in the video how, how I do it. You know, <laughs> go from a tapered thread into a parallel thread. Uh, to put it in the lathe, uh, I could not use the revolving center because uh, it's too big. And also, with the taper attachment, you need to come back quite a lot and go forward again um, to take the play and the mechanism up uh, before it actually it starts following the, ta the taper. Uh, and you haven't got the room to do it like that. So we just made this little uh, this little puck. Um, well, I've drilled it out now. Uh, press that in here, and then uh, we just use a, a solid center, and then I've got plenty of room to uh, to start start the cut. Uh, and then we had some fun because it's a one inch BSP, so but the one inch refers to the inside uh, diameter. Uh, and because I need to weld it on the heat exchanger, uh, the standard, because we're in France, the standard French pipe, because they still use English threads, funnily enough, even so, the French don't realize it, but uh, yeah, they are BSP threads still uh, but they use a metric equivalent pipe and the wall thickness is not very thick and i'm not happy with it so that's why i got these things and originally it only had a, a three quarter inch hole so we had to drill it out and the closest that i've got on a more staples two is a 24 mil drill bit so we're we're one millimeter off the one inch, but for this short section, it's fine. But we had some fun because we had to, you see, we had to go in from this end and go in from that end. And then it had to meet in the middle. And actually, 
over such a long distance as well because I think I passed the fruits and get the whole thing in. But it's, uh, if you can see, there we go. That lined up uh, quite nice. Okay, uh, we'll better get cracking. Uh, we'll weld these together, stick them in the four jaw, and then cut the female thread. And then on the next video, I'll uh, start putting it together. Uh, the fire is here. There we go. That is the humongous burner. You know, it's a massive fire. Uh, that's the pot. He's, he's upside down for the moment. And these are the air, the air inlets. And, uh, I can get these uh, these brass tops uh, for the air controls. So we just did a little scratch pass. It's uh, 11 TPI. Uh, it's a 55 degree angle, so the compound is set at uh, 27 and a half uh, to cut a one inch BSP thread. Okay, he's good. He starts bottoming out about three quarters of the thread here. Then we've got a few more threads to go uh, to tighten them up fully. So that is fine. Yep. Okay, so the type of portion of the thread is done, and now we're going to chase the parallel thread in. Now, I can't move with the compound anymore, so we're going to have to go in with the cross light uh, to keep the thread the same. <laughs> Disconnected uh, the uh, tape attachment. Uh, still keep the thread dial going. <laughs>
What a long piece. The only way we'll make it is to drill it from both ends. And hopefully, it'll meet in the middle. I've got to go past the clamp. I've got to go right up to here. So, the last little bit, I've got to take the clamp off. And go really steady. Going straight. So that's good. Got to hold it on the tread. Uh, there's no other way of doing it. So I clocked it in here and I clocked it over there. Clean the flutes out regularly so it doesn't wrap. Oh, we're there. Oh, we might have got through. 